This is Twit. What problem are you solving when you're reaching for uh, uh, scan code? Well, one of the getting items to reuse free library and open source software is to ensure that you know the license. And it's true whether you are an open source project, you want to make sure you're using a license that's compatible with your own license. It's true if you're in a commercial proprietary closed source organization and you want to make sure that whatever the license of software you use is matching your policy. And what we're trying to do very simply is to make sure eventually licensing is no longer something you have to search for. It's just there, easy to find, easy to discover, and becomes a non-issue. Now, what's an example of the output of this? Okay, so if I, did I, was I accurate about I could run it over my own code base or I could run it on something I just downloaded to see what the licenses are? Yes. So you can, it's a common line tool at the moment. There's a server version that's been contributed the last summer, uh, but needs a bit of refinement. So it's primarily a common line tool and library. And you point it to a, a download or some a checkout of your own code. And in terms of output, you can select JSON or SPDX, HTML, and uh, you can select different type of scans, primarily around license and copyrights, but there's a few others coming up. And, and how did this project get started? Well, uh, actually back in 2008, um, I was at the moment, at the time working uh, still with the same company. Uh, what we're doing were ID based on Eclipse. So we're very active in the Eclipse community. We had a, a distro called Easy Eclipse, which had about 2 million downloads, which is not too shabby by any open source standards. And uh, a customer came to us and said, well, we're buying all these companies. You seem to know a bit about open source, saying we'd like to know if there's open source in the code that, uh, uh, of this company we're buying. And so we did the first gig, and we found tons of stuff, of course, tons of stuff that the original company didn't knew about. And then being Toolsmith, we started scratching our reach and looked at what was wrong. And the, the rest of Sology, and which was and still is written mostly in C and uh, PHP. And that was pretty much it. Everything else was proprietary. We looked at both the proprietary and open source option and really didn't like what we were getting for that, both in terms of architecture, uh, code environment, or price. And we started to write something because of that. Okay, uh, we actually had a question from the chat room already. Um, is scan code just looking for licenses or does it gather other data too, like lines of code? Um, what do you mean by lines of code? Like counting lines of code? Yeah, yeah. It can count the lines of code, but that's fairly trivial. Uh, what it looks like is license, copyright, email, URLs, uh, and any kind of type information around the file. Plus, it parses and normalizes all the package manifests it may find. And it has a fairly large view of what the package is. For instance, a Windows DLL has metadata, which are package-like, so it will parse that. Uh, it would consider a Debian package, an RPM, a Python wheel, a, a node, package.json, RubyGems, all these as being packaged. Wherever you have structured metadata, this will be squeezed, extracted, and normalized in a, in a package manifest model. 